Hello, everybody. Are you ready for another fun bridge tip? Today, we're going to talk about discovery plays. And it is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to discover how to play the hand properly by using certain information that we can gain from clues. Hmm. Let's see what I mean. All right. If you're declaring and you might have to make an important guess, let's say you have a two-way finesse, okay, should I play the jack, should I play the 10, you may be able to collect extra information by using what we call a discovery play before you attack that critical suit. Hmm. Declarer may also need to test certain suits. We might want to see what kind of uh, high card points we can find out from this hand or that hand. And by using all of the inferences and clues that we can use from the auction, from a lead, from signals between the two opponents, we might be able to decide how to play that hand or a suit or which finesse to take and our final decision can be delayed in many instances when we find out this crucial information. Hmm. Sometimes if we get an idea of a distribution of a hand between the opponents have so many hearts, so many diamonds, before committing yourself to a certain line of play, if you can play some safe suits first to see about the distribution, it might help you play the hand later on in the game if it's safe to do so. All right, now that I've confused you, let's make it clear. All right, here's an example. The declarer is in seven no trump and the jack of spades is led. Now you can see all the hands here, but I want to explain uh, an important point. Declarer has 12 top tricks. As you can see, he needs 13. Well, what suit does he need to guess in order to come to 13 tricks? It's the club suit, okay? He's got his four hearts, his three spades, and his three diamonds. And he needs all of his three clubs. Well, he's got a two-way guess. He's got the jack of clubs and the ten of clubs. He can play a club to the jack and hope that he guesses who has the queen. Or he can play the jack of clubs and float it to the to the east hand to play a low heart to the, I mean a low club to the ten, all sorts of things. Well, does he just rely on a 50-50 guess and see who squirms the most? No, he makes a discovery play. Okay, how does that work? By playing off all of his spades, his three spades, and then all of his hearts and all of his diamond winners, he will discover that West held six spades, three hearts, and three diamonds. That leaves just one club for West. Huh. So now, declarer should play the king of clubs and take the mark through finesse, the club finesse, through East. If you count, 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 this time, not the high card points, but count the distribution, you'll know how to play the hand. And you play the king of clubs first in case West had the stiff queen. But as you can see, it was safe for you to play off all of your spades, then all of your hearts, and then all of your diamonds to get a count on the hand. You were so clever that you didn't misguess the club. And you didn't have to guess because you made what? A discovery play. All on your own, you figured out how to play the hand by playing off the other suits. Okay, here's the second example. You can see in the auction that North 
passed and east passed and south opened a club and north bid a heart and south bid a spade and north bid two spades. Okay. So now the contract is two spades and they lead the enemy leads the ace of hearts. West gets a discouraging signal from east. He looks at those hearts. So he now switches and he happens to switch to the 10 of diamonds. And east wins the ace and the king of diamonds and plays a third diamond, which you win. Okay. Now I want you to tell me how you're going to plan your play. What card do you need to find? Hmm. Do you have all the information to find the right play? Do you or don't you? Well, let's think about it. What do we think we know about the West hand? And what do we think we know about the East hand in terms of the cards that we have seen and the high cards that we have seen? And what card do we need to find? What's the card that you think you need to find? in order to make the hand. I think it's obvious, but we're going to take a look. Did you make your plan? Okay, well, West led the ace of hearts and most of the time we don't lead from a bare ace. So it's usually the ace king. We especially get another hint when he decided to switch. If he had ace in one heart, he might have continued even though the hearts look ominous and hope that he can get a rough. However, he switched. So we might assume, might be incorrect, that he started with the ace king of hearts. Okay. We do know that east played the ace king of diamonds. So if we're assuming that West had seven points with the ace, king of hearts, and East had seven points with the ace, king of diamonds, we still don't know who has the queen of spades. That is the card that we need to guess or know how to play the spade suit so we don't lose any spades. We can't afford to do that. Okay. Because we have two heart losers, two diamond losers, and a club loser. That's already five tricks, and we can't lose any more. Who has the queen? Like I said, you've seen seven points from west, we presume, the ace-king of hearts, and seven points from east, the ace-king of diamonds. Well, if we figure out who holds the ace of clubs, we would be able to figure out who has the Queen of Spades. And why is that? Because if you noticed, East was a past hand. Do you see? East passed originally. So if he held the Ace, King of Diamonds, and the Ace of Clubs, he would not hold the Queen of Spades because that would have given him an opening hand. So before you attack the Spade suit, you should make a discovery play and you should play the king of clubs out of your hand and find out who holds the ace. That might give you the information you need. And in this particular instance, it does. Because as soon as he produces the ace of clubs, then you know how to play the spade suit. You know West has to hold the queen of spades. Count the points. Use the auction. It's so simple. So many times it's right there just for the taking, but you have to initiate that discovery play before you play on Trump. Otherwise, you're just giving yourself a 50-50 guess. I'd rather have a 100% play if I have the knowledge to do so. So make that discovery play. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Okay. Here, the auction by East has gone one heart and South over called a spade and North decided to bid game, didn't make a game try, could have, 
but they ended up in four spades. And West dutifully led his partner's suit. He led the Jack of Hearts. Okay. Now I'm telling you that East overtook the Jack of Hearts with the Ace and cashed the King and the Queen of Hearts. Okay, so you remember how many tricks do you need to take? You're in four spades. You need to take 10 and you've lost three heart tricks so you can't lose any more. All right, so what suit is the important suit that you need to figure out how to play? Hearts are eliminated. You don't need to figure out how to play diamonds and you don't need to figure as long as you get a decent trump break you don't need to figure out spades so it comes down to you can't afford to lose a club trick because you've lost three tricks already so are you a good guesser or are you a good player what is your plan hmm okay well i've lost three tricks some people might just say, well, East opened the bidding. He probably has the queen of clubs and they just use that. That's the only piece of information they think that they need. Not true, as we're going to see. Did you plan your play? You know that they started with three hearts in the East. And what can you do to check out some other information? Okay, here we go. If after the three hearts, East just switches to a spade, okay? So you're going to win the spade, and what are you going to do? You're going to try to make a discovery play because you don't know who has the queen of clubs. You have a two-way finesse again. So what do you do? We're going to pull some Trump. And when you pull Trump, you find out that E started with three spades. So, all right, so let's go with that. East has three spades and at least uh, six hearts. So that's nine cards that we know from East. So after you pull Trump, you should be playing the King of Diamonds and a Diamond and Rough a Diamond. Well, after you do that, guess what? You will find out that East followed to three diamonds. So East either has one club or zero club. Now we can see, because I have it in front of you, we can see that he only had one. But you have to see how you can get that information. He showed up with six hearts. He followed to three spades. And he followed to three diamonds. So therefore, you know how to play the club suit. What would you do? You would cash the ace of clubs in case it's a stiff queen and play the jack of clubs and play west for the queen or play a club to the 10. And voila, because you made a discovery play by figuring out some of the distribution, you knew who held the queen without having to guess. You see, it becomes easier and easier if you just do it. All right. The next one. Let's see what happens here. West opened a diamond. Now, you don't have great distribution. You're four triple three, but you have a nice hand. So some of you are going to make a takeout double. And South is going to jump because they have... 10 points at least, and they have six card suit. Not quite good enough to bid, jump to four hearts, but they bid two hearts, showing extra values. And you have a good hand, so you bid three hearts. You raise, you want to see what they want to do, and they for sure accept the game try and bid four hearts. So you got yourself into four hearts. Now you have to make it. Okay. So West leads the ace, king, and the queen of diamonds. And you rough the third diamond. And how are you going to plan your play? So you've lost two tricks, right? What cards do you need to find? Well, you can take a look. You need to find the king of hearts. 
and you need to find the king of clubs. All right. If uh, West holds the king of clubs and the king of hearts, you'll be able to make the hand, right? You'll be able to pick it up, the heart suit, and you'll lose a club, but you won't lose any hearts. All right. So now we have to think about how are we going to make a discovery play? Hmm. Well, we are going to do what? We are going to, let's see. We are going to play a spade. We're not going to play trump yet because we don't know how we want to play the trump suit. So we're going to play a spade and we're going to take a club finesse. We're going to do that right away. So why are we doing that? We're trying to get a count on the hand. Okay. So also, if you take the club finesse and it's successful, you're going to make the hand even if you lose the king of hearts. However, let's see how this discovery play really helps you play the hand. So you play a spade first and you find out that West holds the king clubs. So are you counting the hand? West opened the bidding, remember, a diamond. Now let's count his points. He holds the ace, king, and the queen of diamonds. That's nine. And the king of clubs is, are you with me? That's what? Twelve. He can't hold the king of hearts as well because he would have done what? He would have opened a no trump. He would have had 15 to 17. So since he didn't open a no trump, now you know that East has the king of hearts. So now that you know that East has the king of hearts, you can just say, okay, here, I'm going to go down. Or you can try to make the hand with the information that you discovered. All right. Well, once in a while, you get lucky. You have a 10-card heart fit. And if you're playing East to hold the known king of hearts, then how should you play the hand? Well, after you return, get win the return, whatever West returns for you after winning the King of Clubs, he probably will just return another club or a spade, okay? You just bang down the Ace of Hearts. You don't take the finesse because you know East has it. And you get lucky because and he does have it at Singleton. That's your only play. Why do you think so many people say, oh, my God, he dropped the stiff king? Well, he dropped the stiff king. You have 10 hearts between you, and you know he has the king, so it costs you nothing to play the ace and hope that it's stiff. Well, good play on your part. Well, I hope you had fun. There's lots of fun in discovering the right thing to do instead of having to guess. And more and more, if you practice it, you'll find out that some things are not 50-50. Some are really 100%. Well, I thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again at the bridge tables and have a wonderful bridge day. And if you have a particular topic, please email me, and I'll try to make a lesson around it. Bye for now.